Take the bait. That's the general strategy. Give the Cylons something tasty to send all those loaded fuel and prepped missiles after. Something fast. Something lightly armored. If it's going to be first in, it might as well have a damn good scanning capability. Something that can see the massive wave of death coming from range and start spouting intel to the rest of the fleet while giving angles of intercept to the three or so wings of vipers ready to swing in to save the day against the rapidly approaching tubes that get off my lawn shared by the toasters. Nothing fits the bill quite like the manicorn. The Hecatate was one of the first in to test the strategy, but it's slowly becoming a go-to. If the Cylons don't engage her, they risk being spotted well outside their own ranges, allowing colonial forces to take more advantageous formations to counter the incoming threat. If they do engage with long-range missiles, then they just lob their first and best alpha strike on a single scout. We've got a decent chance of survival if the Viper pilots have had their coffee that morning. The crews have taken to calling the scout the Forlorn Hope term pulled from antiquity, but generally it means a band of soldiers or combatants chosen to take on the vanguard in an operation, such as a suicidal assault through a kill zone or a defended position, where the risk of casualties is high. Mostly this is remembered for those groups to storm battlements first, and meet the defenders with their fully loaded muskets and early rifles loaded and ready. A surprisingly fitting term, I do agree. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here, and welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. We have made it to our first story mission at Aquaria. It's time. And we are repaired, right? No, we're not. Confirm repair to get it going. We're trying to get our Battlestar unlocked, get uh, our new fleet. Actually, both fleets need a capital ship, because I want to pull that star, uh, star base out of there. Uh, actually, we can't attack that. I think we have to end our turn first. That being said, uh, yeah, Animal Fleet's kind of surrounded at the moment, on all sides. Yeah. Oh, can I get you guys? Can I jump you, the Flying Dutchman, and get you to this fleet? Can you make it? You can totally make it for 20. Yes, confirmed. Make the jump. All right. And we've got two resource missions that we can knock out as well that have popped up. All right, let's in turn so we can get into Detected it. A third a and a fourth fleet, fleet have arrived. Ouch! Why? Transferring you over to Anvil Fleet. Confirmed. Anvil Fleet is now full. This is the fleet makeup. So we've got the Gladius, the Cord, the Glorious Death, the Flying Dutchman, the Assertion, the Hakatate, and the Summer. Uh, though these are all named after captains from the Patreon. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel all of these years. I appreciate it. Hopefully, you can hold out in Helios Alpha because it's, um, it's not good. It's not good. We've this been mission. tracking this Cylon strike force for a while now. Oh, no position points for present, research. So maximum force is encouraged. Eliminate the Cylon warband. Oh, it's just literally eliminate eliminate targets. I kind of want to just do that. Can we jump there? How much will you cost? 40 tillium to do that, but we'll actually get paid for it. Confirm jump. We're going to go do that, get some research. Between that and doing this mission... We might actually unlock... How much do we need again? Let me look real quick. Blueprints. Uh, to get the Battlestar, Artemis, we needed 2,050. Maybe we might just have enough, because I think it's 600 for one and 500 for the other. So yeah, between those two missions, we may actually be able to get our capital ship. Yes. Lo, thank you for the sub, man. Hey, Shaq, I just wanted to thank you for your content for almost three years and watching Battlestar. Now I'm... Actually, I'm really enjoying Battlestar Galactic Deadlock. Oh, I'm, I'm glad you how you're uh, you're enjoying it. Uh, what's our production right now look like? Nothing. Nothing going on right now. Okay, let's start the process of getting a front line. You guys talked up the Berserker a lot in the comments section. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a Berserker Adamant Fleet, I think, with maybe one Manticore as a scout, and use this as, like, full-on artillery support on the back line and see if the Berserkers can tear stuff apart with their larger cannons, because they've got larger guns than the Adamant, and that was what everybody in chat in, uh, in chat and in the comments section were like, no, Shaq, don't. Even though you don't get the missiles, you do get a lot of extra firepower, and it's worth it. Okay. So I'm not going to build too many. We're going to sit... Um, Actually, we'll do the full three. And then between these two missions, we might have enough to actually build our, our Artemis. All right, we figured it out. Apparently, I'm on the wrong planet. That sucks. 
We've got our jump coordinates there. We've got some ships in the cooker. We've got our full... Right, we're full ships, right? Three ships? Yes. we got our full three ships being built. Uh, all right, let's in turn. Everybody's on the move. I can't believe I was on the wrong damn planet. All right, Anvil Fleet has arrived at the mission. The mission is literally destroy all Cylons in the area. I can get behind this plan. I like a simple plan. You know what? Let's be, let's be patient about it. Let's be patient. Let's have them come to us. Put the scout here. You're going to be back here. We're going to get the Vipers launched. We're going to get a couple of squadrons to defend our scout and get the scout up front. Then we're going to have the, the Adamant set up for a bronze side, put our Berserker behind him. And then, oh, do we have any torpedoes? Oh, the Summer's got mines. Screw that. You guys are switching target. You're going to watch our flank. And then you are set up with missiles. Missiles. All right. Let's give it a go. Anvil Fleet is in a properly large fight. Fleet group is jumping in three, two, one. All right. We need a full sensor lock Dratus on Dratus. Marks a confirmed hostile. Start lobbing those missiles. Sensor boost. Oops, wrong ship. You're fine. You, sensor boost up. You are all, we almost got him in range. Actually, don't even need to change you. You just go forward and you'll have a, you'll have eyes on. Let's bank you off a little bit more. So say we all. Let's have all ships who are capable launch Launching squadrons. Fire. I'm going to start like slowly banking all of the, just the entire fleet. Just start banking them. That will put our berserker in the rear once we finish the turn and broadside the hell out of everything that comes in range. All right, ending turn. Launch fighters. That's so cool. That is so cool. That and we can see the names on the signs. Ah, like there's the glorious death. And the Gladys. I like that short names are just larger. You can see them way clearer. <laughs> All right, fighters are out. I want to get two squadrons defending our scout. The rest of you, what's our first enemy contact? It's one of those Corvettes that are really fast. Hopefully they don't turn and burn too quick. Let's get the mine launched here yeah i'm kind of okay with that that way they have to break apart what does this nebula do anything no no effect okay that's weird i figured it'd have an effect there was another map that we had where they actually did something uh and then i'm gonna have everybody are you clear hmm i'm gonna have the three of you guys so the adamant the the glorious death and the flying Dutchman. I want you to fire your munitions. Go ahead and open up on that target. You, turn harder over. You, turn, but not as hard over. So say we all. You three. Yeah, begin your curve. On it, Commander. Turn, and then dispatch you, squadron. I want you to defend, because you know what's going to happen. I have a feeling you are going to get all kinds of focus fire on you. So I'm going to send out, defend this. You still have to be out. You have to be our point man. So you got to be out there. All right, here we go. Here we go. Launch munitions. He's burning quick. But I think my missiles are going to be able to Hostile track that. We got two. Two gunships. That was actually making me really, really nervous. It's going to be a few rounds before those get into firing range. I'm going to launch my missiles at... Secondary target. There's our curve. 
Actually, I want you guys hard over. Let's like On it, bring in the firepower. You, Curve. We don't need to get closer. Not just yet. Vipers are already in a defense position. I need to dispatch more Vipers, it looks like. Because the only place we're going to get missiles from now is this Talon here. We don't know what's this way, but we need to eliminate these enemy Vipers that are approaching. We should have three squadrons ready to go. I might just dispatch the three of you on a strike. Kill them one at a time and kill them quick. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, um... Let's get aggressive with our Vipers. If they can go out there and just wreck one squadron, then we can have them pull off to the other two. You might have to break off and engage those two Vipers as well. I wish we could name the Vipers. We could have our uh, CAG. All right, here we go. I think we're set now. Oh, you three. You need to be able to reach out and touch someone. So let's pull up your weapons, your weapon power. Let's put everything into, into combat mode. Also, are you going to have a clear shot? Yeah, you're going to have a clear shot. Nice. Uh, you too. Nobody's focusing on you. Let's get your weapons up online. What is your weapon range, by the way? People were asking about weapon ranges. If you hit backspace while having a target selected, uh, you can see what the weapon ranges are for that weapon. Doesn't work on enemies, though. I wish it did. I wish we could get, like, intel on those ships and see what their firing ranges were and what their angles are. But it doesn't look like... Like, I click the talent, I click backspace. Nothing happens. It just shows what you have selected. So here's his firing angle with his defense, which isn't terrible. So I'm hoping we can take out this battle group before the rest of them get within range. Uh, let's get you this way. I'm kind of running from these guys. All right, here we go. Vipers are moving. We're exchanging fire against the enemy Vipers. My Vipers are breaking off. The mines are being armed. Is taking fire. Which they are happy to go around already. Nice, mines armed. Incoming missiles. I don't know if my Vipers are going to be able to hold off. I wonder if I can boost. All right, I think it's time to focus fire. Did those missiles hit? Oh, yeah, his left side. Oh, his left side is cooked. Why don't we slow it down just a wee bit? Focus all munitions. All fire. Do we have any munitions left? We do? We have... We've got missiles left? Also, you focus fire. One ship at a time. Um, I'm going to bank you with... Mm. I'm going to bank you in. Let's get those forward guns working. I feel like I'm a little over aggressive with these mana cores. Hey, it works. Let's do it. Look at him getting tore up. Target destroyed. We've switched targets already. Ooh, we're starting to see some return fire here, though. All right, Vipers. How's the back end doing? You two? Look like you're actually pulling off. You need yes, to sir. engage. You all need to be engaging them. We need to wipe them out. Do they outnumber us? By a crap ton. All three of you, I'm scared of these things. These things killed an adamant in a round whilst taking focused fire for most of the fleet. That worries the hell out of me. Focus your fire on this target. He needs to be deleted. Let's do it. Light him up. Bop, 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 bop. Dead. Switch targets. I call this a massive increase in potential with this fleet formation. Like, this is such a better formation than those early ones that I was trying to make work. All right. We're going to come around. We're going to pop another mine off. I want to keep delaying these ships. And I feel like the mines Watching are mine. forcing them to go way around. And I think these are slow ships. I'm guessing these are probably talents. If not something bigger. <gasps> you guys won the fight! Hell yeah! Engage that target. We'll control their movement with mines, make them cycle around chasing behind us, and then we will kill them with fighter squadrons. Get in there, Vipers. Let's do it! We're tearing apart his front. We might have the firepower here. Come on, come on, come on. Damn, we switched to the other side of the armor. That's all right, that's all right. We can chew through that. We have a whole fleet. So, a little forward progress going so this way. All. You, same deal, but slow down so we cannot so get firing arc of, uh, of the other adamants. So who is this? This is Flying Dutchman. Dutchman needs that Viper upgrade. I gotta remember that. You two? Keep, yeah, go the direction that you're going, but let's get some missiles fired off. Not at him, but at the slower ships. Coming about, reforming. Ammo's away! Look at it. Look at the gladius. Missiles incoming!
Coming. Killing one Cylon while lobbing missiles at another. All right, good job, boys. We got missiles on the way. I'm banking you off. It's your rear armor is still strong, right? Rear is at 29. Yeah, rear armor's not bad. You can you can deal with that. Maybe we'll even knock out a couple of missiles from the fire from here. You've got it. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. Coming about. These are rear hits. Rear, rear, rear. Armor's holding. Armor's good. They need to die in what, three turns before the missiles are up. Before they get another round off. You switch targets? Hell yeah, you did. <laughs> He's dead next turn because of Viper fire. Forward side missile hits. Viper's got the job done. They've switched targets. Their flight leads are like, all right, Talon's next. We're going to have one full up. Okay, so the mines, one one scout with mines is not bad. That secondary battle, full attack mode. It seems like the enemy is, is wise enough to try to stay out of them, but it means we can kind of control those vipers. And we're at a perfect angle. Don't worry about it, just in turn. This is over. Order received. Clean up and be up. Don't think it's going to do me like that. Not today. And finish the job. Back it up, we're going home. Contacts down. Mission complete. Goomba in chat has a good point. It's like, can you force an enemy to turn to give the side of the armor that you want to, to, to attack? Um, maybe, maybe. It seemed like they were like they were taking wide turns to stay away from those mines, and we might be able to use that in a fun way. But before we can get into it, we've accomplished this mission. We're diving right into the next one. This is the um, the operations mission. Let's do it. This is an actual quest mission. This is going to get us new new tech, including a new ship. Something starts with a C. Was it like the Celestis or something? I don't know what it is. The description didn't tell me. Once we get the Battlestar, once we get that research, those points in, I think we're going to... I think we're going to leave the Deadless in the Ragnar Station so we can have two fleets that are a little bit more mobile and away from everything. All right, so currently, this is a story mission, so I'm a little um, hesitant. You don't know what the objectives are going to be. But it looks like there's the refinery station over here. A refinery station. We've got three Dreda's contacts, but that's it. And this is a scout-heavy fleet. Do you are uh, rocking mines, or is it all missiles right now? It's all missiles. Missiles that are vipers. Surprisingly few hostiles here. I'm a little, I'm a little worried. Jump complete. Hostile Dreadus marks already on the board. The research ship is responding and active. Oh, yeah, it's peculiar to see a Vardmodia ship so far from home. Her drone technology isn't so oh, radical that they need help from the Aquarians. It's possible that was just a front. Maybe some rogue techs looking for refuge before the Quorum passes its AI ban. I don't think so. In that regard, Virgis has more to be concerned about than these folks. They're drone enthusiasts at best. More interested in actuators than processors. Either way. Commander, proceed as planned. This may be a rare lucrative day for Colonial Fleet. <sighs> okay. That's concerning. Where's the actual... Protect the Celestra? Where's the Celestra at? Is it under my command? No, it's sort of. Yeah, it is under my command. Here it is. Oh, man, that looks great. I like that. It's got that big hanger in the middle. Also, has uh, two packs of... Wait, no. Restock guided missiles? What? What does it mean, restock? <gasps> Are you some kind of, Understood. like, fleet support ship? Cool. We need to protect you. Probably need to get some... I'm gonna have you just hard charge. We're so far away from you, and we've got enemy hostiles here. Ooh. All right, let's launch fighters. Launching alert fighters. We can get two groups of vipers over there ASAP. Let's launch your fighters as well. Launching alert vipers. Let's get your sensors online. We can see what the heck's going on here. 
And you guys, full burn, let's go. So say we all. We need to get in between those two ships. All right, we're on the move. Oh, it's a Revenant. I know where our missiles are going. These two are breaking off and going after this, aren't they? Oh, no! Don't do it! Okay, we can now order the Vipers. I'm ordering you to go over there and defend that ship. Get there fast. All of you. Combat... Hmm... Okay, you three. I gotta keep them in sensor lock. Fire munitions. Let them loose. Adamants. Fire munitions. Let them loose. Boost off. Combat mode. Engaged. Oh, I don't know if the Vipers are gonna make it in time. Let's go. Missiles away. Formation is good. All missiles. Oh, no, we got a little friendly fire. Damn. We're I opening up. Unit is hostile. Oh, I can hear Commander, him drop. Multiple new Dreadus no. contacts. It's behind him too. Oh, is that two of you? Is that two revenants? Shh. Yes, it is. Uh, he's coming about. He's coming about. We gotta hit him with more, with more than what we've got here. On it, Commander. Uh, focus fire on this target. Focus fire on this target. I need you closer because I think you're gonna be. Let's see, backspace. Oh, you're barely going to be in range. All of you. He hasn't fired any missiles. Nobody's fired any missiles yet. Focus fire. Elevation change. This is looking, this so is looking scary. Because I started so far away from the objective. I'm a little concerned. I don't know if I can get high enough to get my turrets on that, on that mark. Uh, hopefully the missiles chew through his side and then our forward guns can just eat this ship and then we can move on to these two uh we even have enemy raiders crap going after the objective we gotta get you out of there celestra you not boost understood yeah i can't do anything except for run and deploy plating oh you can do repairs like mid battle repairs all right we're gonna kind of curve you off this i'm not gonna have you straight in you just need to buy us time I hope those aren't escort ships. We're gonna be in real trouble if they are. Vipers are getting there. So maybe he's more tanky than it looks. Chew him to pieces. Got him. Yes. As, as the Galahad flies through the explosion. <laughs> as you do. Hard over. We're switching to the next target. So the goal being, those Vipers are just gonna intercept in time. They're gonna start attacking the Celestra just as the Vipers get there. Your armor is terrible. Yeah. You three. Just begin your approach. We're going after that. How high are we up? Yeah, we're above them, but it's not too terrible. We're gonna curve in. Hopefully to exchange rounds with this Revenant. Um, does anybody have any missiles left? What are we on timers? Two turns? Two turns. You don't have missiles. And then you guys are two turns too, right? Yeah. All right, here we go. Coming about. Eee. Fighter squadron is taking fire. All right, guns are in range. Man, they've got better range than us. I feel like I'm out of like, effective firing range from them. Hmm. How far off are we? That's not too bad, though this angle sucks. Yeah, this angle is terrible. Here's what we'll do. You two, as you're making your way forward, dip down. You stay high. And then we'll keep doing that and hopefully give you a better, like, clear shot. How we doing over here? Uh, the Vipers are there defending. That's a tiny target. We must have more enemy fighters approaching. My Vipers have engaged the Revenant. All of you, focus your fire on that target. Full combat mode. We don't need sensors. We can see them. Change your angles. Sadly, we're going to be hitting two different, two different armor plates, but it is what it is. Come on, you got to kill him. You got to kill him. Yes. 
It was these, wasn't it? It was the mana cores that just chewed that thing apart. Don't underestimate a group of mana cores on a mission. Woo! Oh, but how's your armor? I know you must have taken some shots. It's not bad. I wonder if their mischance is higher if you're dead, you're, if you're nose in on them because your ship is so small. Sweet! We're here! Help! I'm gonna have you select target, go after Understood. them. You keep doing what you're doing. We need to clear them out. I'm real nervous about this guy, but yeah, I think this is the right call. Let's go. Missiles are away. We're wearing down his front armor fast. Ooh. The Berserk is taking damage. Oh, fuck. You've lost your left... You lost your left armor. Ugh. What's your rear armor look like? 32. Hard to port. Starboard. Hard to starboard. Hey, what a great moment to try whatever the heck this is. What? I can choose anything within that range to repair. So what's the deal here? Are we sending out like Raptor repair teams mid combat to weld plates back onto these ships? Your order has been given. Send out a repair team and repair that armor. You two, you're already on task. You're looking good. Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what, what kind of space it takes up. I probably have to lose the ship for it. Come on, take it out. Berserk, how you doing? His armor's coming up. They don't have a chance. So restart guided missiles. I can choose who to restock. Oh, it's it's the it doesn't restock the timer, does it? Oh, I get it now. It restocks the total amount, which I don't think we've ever run out of yet. I have a feeling there's going to be missions. The support ship doesn't count as your fleet pop? Really? Oh, it, it takes up the spot of the debt list, doesn't it? The same spot that the space station takes. I'm really relying on you guys to end him. Bump, 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 bump those forward cannons. They're heavy guns, too. There's just only one of them. We got one very slowly moving contact. Let's get sensors on it. Are you within my range? Massively. You don't even need to be that far out. Let's put it to about right there. Let's see what we got. What's the last ISS greatest contact? Unit is it's a Talon. Vipers are closing. Light him up. Dauntless. All ships, focus fire, that target. It's time to get paid and get the heck out of here. Give them the good news. The rum hunter. The falling blueprint has been unlocked. So I can build it. Let's go to the blueprint section and see what we've got. Oh, I it's a... Mm, so I don't just get one. I only get the blueprint. We don't actually get the support ship. I was hoping we just get it, you know? Let's go ahead and repair the fleet. It's a cheap blueprint, though. That's true. That's true. It is a cheap blueprint. We could pick it up. And honestly, that repairability could be super clutch. And it doesn't take up a fleet spot. I know we said we were going to get the battle star. Yeah, support for survivability and then all right, I'm with it. Let's do it. Because we can build this now too. We don't have to wait. We'll have to wait on the battle star. So we're at 1716. For the battle star, we need 1844. We're that close. We're that close. We had a ship that we needed to refit. Let's do that real quick. Uh who was it that needed a refit? It was Dutchman, right? Dutchman needed a refit? But yeah, Mark II Vipers. Here we go. You know what, Dutchman? I'm not giving you Mark II Vipers. I'm hitting you up with a Raptor squadron. Also, we'll repair the fleet. So you're going to be our first ship with raptors. I like the idea that the Flying Dutchman has boarding party. 
<laughs> That's literally the only reason. That I want to try out Raptors. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Wow, really? So the upgrades, the promotions, like the Gladius has gotten promoted 3% off of um, damage reduction is what the first promotion does. That's interesting. Long term, yeah, short term. Let's go ahead and build that, by the way. Oh, we can't, can we? Because we already have two ships. Let's take the shipyards, see what's going on. Um, Yeah, we can't build it yet. We're maxed out, I don't think. Oh, we can put it on the list. It just won't build. Ooh, look at it, though. Yeah. I'm not going to rush this. Oh, wait. We need to save up for the Battlestar. I want the money on point. Promotions. Officer promotions. Officer school. All right. I can't yet. I need another rank up. The reason being is I wanted to get a battle star in this fleet, and I'm not going to be able to have enough fleet points, I don't think, to do it. Obviously, that's not the trick. We need to level up something else first. It may take you longer to get there with the level ups, but I'd rather you be more effective right now. You. Promote. Hubbard. Again, CIC. Promotion. Well done. It's exciting. I like the XP system in this. I want to keep you guys alive now really badly. Uh, all right. We got Broken Alliance 2 in the back, but we got a lot of problems down in the south that it's got to be dealt with. And I feel like I want to kick the crap out of some toasters. So let's get Anvil Fleet. Admiral. Actually, hold tight. You can't go anywhere yet. We have a new mission, Commander. Ooh. Tactical advantage, drop box Helios. What's With this? Idris compromised, a new gray market has sprung up. Veteran recon specialists are peddling data on Cylon fleet movements for profit. We don't encourage it, but, and I hate to admit this, they're really effective. My most reliable scout for hire has a new data set, but refuses to deliver it in person. If we want that information, we'll have to secure their drop box network before the Cylons discover it. 800 Tilium, plus three on their cooldown, and plus four on their manufact. What? That's fantastic. We need this desperately. We're doing that. We're doing that one. Dropbox. All right, so the main fleet's gonna go pop that. That will slow them down while Anvil starts taking out these enemy ships, or fleets. Damn, Anvil, you're gonna be busy. 